Dean, George, amazing to speak to you guys about 1917. This film was very tense to watch. Was there ever a point on set and filming where even you guys were scared? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, I mean you kind of get, look, we're doing these, we were doing it in these long takes and you, you get lost in it, you know? You, and, and everything that you see on screen, a couple, a couple of a, a couple of horizons here and there, it's all real, it's all practical effects. So everything, we were, we were doing it and you kind of, yeah, you become lost in it. Yeah. And you guys mentioned the long takes. Obviously, this film is made to look like it was all shot in one take, and um, Sam calls it the one-shot film. Did that kind of technique make it harder for you guys as actors? I mean, it, I mean, it's definitely a lot to think about, and it's, it is very difficult to pull something like this off, but I did find it very beneficial to you know, what we do as actors. You know, like some scenes last nine, ten minutes long. Uh, you know, and as an actor, you just get completely lost in that world, and that, that's that's an amazing feeling. Mm. Um, so I found it very helpful, you know, as an actor. Um, but obviously, it's very difficult, you know. And we we did months and months of rehearsals to, you know, in order to prep and know all the steps. So it was tough. And like that rehearsal process beforehand, was that was that a long process? Yeah, well, we worked. It was six months before we started shooting. We were rehearsing, mm. and it's and yeah, you had to be committed to it because we were sort of because there's no edit for the film. Mm. We were, you know, you have to suss out the rhythm before you get there, and so that's why we had all of that time beforehand. And we would basically turn up to an empty field where they would eventually build the set, and we would start with script in hands, walking out the scenes, and kind of putting markers down as to okay, the corner needs to come there because the set needs to be the length of the scene and the scene needs to be the length of the set. Mm. And so we kind of would rehearse, rehearse, rehearse and gradually build sets kind of further and further down the way um, to match the action of what we were doing. Mm. So, but you know, but by the same token, you, could, you had to sort of go in 100% on day one mm. because otherwise if you're sort of doing it half paced or half speed or anything, you, um, you know, you'd set the pace at that and the whole movie would just be, well, really slow. <laughs> yeah. Now this film is about bravery, survival, endurance, even kind of a lack of basic humanity. There's one particular scene in the barn, which I'm sure you're, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. What did you guys get from the movie personally and what do you guys want people to get out of this movie? Um, I mean, being a part of this film and sort of understanding, you know, the facts of the First World War and what actually happened, it's very eye-opening. You sort of forget how sort of easy you've got it nowadays. Um, but I mean, I, I hope that when people watch the film that people um, look into their own ancestors' past. You know, I think it's important that people remember the soldiers that fought in the First World War and, you know, it's nice to have a bit of knowledge on, you know, your great-great-grandfather and, and, you know, what their... or grandmother, you know. So I, I hope they look into a bit of that. And especially because this film is dedicated to Sam's family as well, did did that kind of come through in his directing, that kind of passion and that kind of family link as well? Yeah, I, th I think I think so, like I mean the spirit of, you know, Dean and I don't play his his grand grandfather, but the spirit of his grandfather and the spirit of what all those men and women did is definitely in the film. And I guess that we weren't like burdened by that responsibility, but it was always inspiration an, an inspiration in the doing yeah. of it. And just very quickly, you know, I know this is kind of a taboo subject, but kind of people talk about the awards. Um, obviously, it's it's kind of like that thing of like, oh, there is that kind of narrative out there. But, you know, obviously the awards, are the awards. But how is it for you guys being in such a critically well received film? It's really nice. Uh, it's, it's kind of weird because, you know, when you're filming it, it just feels very private and you almost forget sometimes that, you know, it's going to be released into the world and then people are finally going to see the film. Um, but I'm just really happy that people are liking the film and that's, that's all that's important really and you know to be on this sort of ride now and see how people react when it comes out is special, special to be a part of. Yeah, yeah I think, I think any kind of like awards like kind of conversation or anything will hopefully just get people to go see it in the cinema because this is, this is one film that I think really you know, benefits from being seen in the cinema. Like mm -hmm. it's it's immerse it's an immersive experience. It's very so, cinematic, isn't it? Yeah, and you kind of need to be in that kind of closed off space, big screen, loud noise. Um, so I guess yeah, if it's in that conversation and being received well, then then people will hopefully kind of you know make an effort to go see it in the cinema mm. if they can. Mm. Guys, thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.